everybody, welcome back to Gran Turismo 3. Hey right, guys, today's contestant is the Renault Clio Sport V624V. Catch that thumbnail. 519 horsepower, 1,134 kilograms, mid-engine, rear-wheel drive. Yes, this car is actually mid-engine, rear-wheel drive. For those of you who don't know what that means, uh, midship placement of the engine is when it's just behind the seats. So, yeah, a little hatchback car with the engine in the back. Very strange. V6, dual overhead cam. Yeah, you wouldn't think that the engine of this car would be behind the seats. You know what I'm saying? You would definitely think that it's in the front. Something really cool about the Renault Clio that not many people know unless they play a whole lot of video games or something, or they just really like cars. Maximum speed. Champion of the Maximum Speed Challenge, the Mines Lancer 6. The Mast RX-8, Nissan Silvia. We need to beat 176.9, so we just need 177. Simple as that. Yeah. Super soft. Hey, you guys can hit pause on these screens if you want. 1412, pretty high brake uh, setting in this car. 30 on the transmission. And zero and one. Great. Let's get this, you guys. Maximum speed. Brum, brum. Oh. A little monster. See how deep it lets me get into the red. Pretty freaking deep, man. God dang. Up to 8,000. And it's on the board. Whoa, easy, 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 easy. finally capped out for our first first cap there. Let her run straight and true right here. Oh, it's not going to hit that speed. Come on, come on, come on. All right. Guess we're going to have to ride it all the way up with the Clio, you guys. 183. Can you get 183.1? Come on. Oh, 183 it is, you guys. Third place. For the hatchback of all hatchbacks. Look at that. New podium. <laughs> the hatchback of all hatchbacks, you guys. Beat out the Sylvia by uh, 0.9. Not bad at all. Quarter mile, you guys. Ooh. Wonder how it's gonna do in the quarter mile, man. This car's pretty fast. I wouldn't be surprised if it, like, podiumed here. Alright, new king of the quarter mile is the MR2 GTS, you guys. New Beetle RSI Acura NSX. We need to beat 11.759. Alright, Reynolds Cleo. <laughs> vroom, 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 let's get this. Vroom, vroom. Yeah. Yeah. That first gear. First gear is a little laggy. We are gaining speed pretty fast. Woo, 11.3. That's like fifth or sixth or something. Fourth. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, Renault Clio. Now this is a notoriously difficult car to drive, the Renault Clio. So I know it's going to be difficult, a uh, bit of a bitch at the midfield hot lap challenge, that's for sure. 
There it is, you guys. Just outside of that podium, man. Look at how close that is. Just outside of the podium. Might as well be standing in front of the NSX, uh, just off of the podium, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Alright, let's go get warmed up. Yeah, this, this car is pretty notorious in Gran Turismo for being a rather difficult car to drive. So we'll see what happens. Trial Mountain lights on. Trial Mountain's lights on, isn't it? I always want to do races that <clears throat> where it's dark because I want to see the headlights and taillights on. Trial Mountain's lights. It is not. Maybe Trial Mountain 2 is lights? I'm not sure. Anyways, let's get warmed up. come back and unless you do that it just doesn't come back it'll just keep on going notice that two or three times there now again before we did that race I was saying how this car is a bit of a notorious car in Gran Turismo for being a difficult car to drive so let's do the midfield hot lap challenge and the Clio should do pretty good here as long as I get at least one fucking lap down it's gonna be difficult it is gonna be difficult help it a little bit if I can here. We've actually gained a horsey. We have 520 now. Um, what do you need, my love? You need to soften that booty up a little bit and calm yourself down. <laughs> um. Just 
goes almost bounce 12 11. And get that limited slip differential working a little bit better for me. All right, Renault Clio <coughs> V624V. <laughs> Let's do this, baby. But not before seeing the records, of course. Our two 109s, you guys, the new champion of midfield raceway, the Mazda RX-8. What a beast. I can't believe, still even now, I can't believe that it beat the Speedster, man. Just because the Speedster's been up there for so long. What do we got? 111952 is what we need to beat to get on the board here. Oh, look at how tight that is getting, man. It's getting there, you guys. <laughs> Alright. Come on, Cleo. Oh, yeah, brakes feel a hell of a lot better. Seven one. 
Oh, I didn't think we were going to get a solid lap out there. Because this is a pretty hard car to drive. I, I'm not going to get around. It's pretty difficult. Oh, I'm happy for that, man. 110.171 for the Clio. That is a hot-ass lap for this car. Look at the ascending lap times, eh? 111.6, 111 flat, 110.1. Good job, Clio. Oh, podium! Let's go! <laughs> Woo. That was a hot-ass third lap, man. I was like so delicate, you guys have no idea. Coming down to the hairpin there, I was trying to be as delicate as I possibly could. I was like teetering on my steering wheel. <laughs> teetering, you guys. Woo, look at that. There it is. Amazing. <laughs> 110, 171. New podium stander. Amazing. I'm so happy I nailed that last lap there. Oh, goodness. Well, thank you guys for coming out, watching this episode of Gran Turismo 3. <laughs> Do me a favor, maybe leave a like on the video, maybe even subscribe to the channel. All that cool stuff, man. I freaking love you guys, and uh, I wish you the total best. Hope you guys have a freaking awesome rest of your day, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next one, so be sure to have a good. Bye, bye.